Rates of teen dating abuse are on the rise, and we want to know why. 17-year-old Leanne admits that her boyfriend Edwin has punched her in the face many times, and he has strangled her until she has blacked out. But she still wants to be with him. Why do you still want to be with him? Because, I mean, even though, you know, we fight, I still, I love Edwin, and I know he loves me, even though we do fight, and that might be, a, you know, an issue. It is an issue. It's a big issue between us, but I do love him, and I want to So because work. you love him, the, the punching is okay? It's not okay. It's just I think that maybe, you know, he'll change, or maybe he'll realize what he does is wrong, and he'll stop. But that's he, what I keep thinking. Does he apologize and say it's not going to happen again after he hits you? Yeah. Yes. yes. How many does. times has that happened? Too many. Too many times. Yeah. And then I, when he says that, I'm like, okay. I mean, you know, I don't take it. Like, okay, maybe he's going to stop. Because I know he's going to do it again. And then say the same thing. And then do it again and say the so same thing. So deep down inside, do you think he'll just keep doing it again if you stay with him? Deep, deep down inside. I'm not talking about our hope and dream. I'm talking about what you feel. What you really feel deep down inside. I think, I think maybe he'll stop once. Because he doesn't... He doesn't want Caden going through it. He doesn't, that's our son, Caden. He doesn't want him to see it. And he knows, you know, we don't fight in front of him. He Mom's doesn't. shaking her head. Why are you shaking your head, Mom? Has the son seen it? No. I, yes, he has. And I don't need them to tell me, no, he hasn't. Yes, he has. I can tell by the way that the baby acts when I have him. How does he act? My son and I will be wrestling around, messing around. And Leanne's brother? Yes. Okay. And you can see a whole different look on the baby's face, and he gets scared. And mm -hmm. so we have to stop playing like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just, it, I know that he's seen it because he doesn't act the same that he used to. Mm -hmm. Tell me about um, Edwin, when you are hitting her, what is going through your head? Do you see red? Do you see, like... Like, what m takes you that far that you have to do that? that you want to hit her so bad. At the time I did hit her, the only thing I remember, I mean, I know I didn't want to, but it came to that point. I mean, I couldn't help it, and I did it, and I just, I, like, I just blacked out. And then I just hit her, and then I realized I actually really just did that. And then what goes through your head? Why did I do that? So she's crying, black eye, blood, and no, you say? I, 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 I tell her sorry and stuff. I mean, I try to help up and stuff, and I... I just be like, why did you sit there and try to push me to that point? Why did you sit there and make me okay. mad? Okay, see what you just said, that's abuser again, you know that? Yeah. The abuser says, why did you do that? This is your fault. I socked you in your face because it's your fault. You did this, you drove me to this. This is you, you're bad. And if you didn't act like this, I wouldn't beat your ass. <clears throat> that's what an abuser says. And I don't want you to be that when you grow up. I don't want you to be that. And, and, and the great thing about you, to me, is that you are here. And I think Edwin is here because he doesn't want to be an abuser. Is that why you're here? You want some help? I don't want to be no abuser. Yeah. That's not me. It's, it is you right now. It's not me. Edwin, the first thing we got to do is claim it, that you do that, but you don't want to be that. You do do it. You're saying it in front of millions of people that that is something that you do. I've done it in the past. And you're just going to say you're going to leave this show and never do it again? I don't um, think it's that easy. No, I, I'm, I'm with trying to get help or whatever, whatever okay. it is. We're going to get you some help I'm, today. I'm just saying. But you don't want that to be you. No, it's okay, not. let's talk about when your hands are around her throat and strangling her. Because I know when he, before he put his hands around your neck, what did he say? What did he say to you? I need to kill myself. That you should kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Why did he say that he wished that you were dead and that you should kill yourself? Over something little. I went to the store with a guy and he got mad. And so he said, you should kill yourself. And then put his hands around you and almost proceeded to start that. Right. Let's talk about that when your hands are around her neck. Okay. I just feel like if you're going to be in a relationship or whatever, why would you sit there and while I'm sitting in the house, go out and go somewhere with somebody else when you could just go with me? If you're going to sit there and do that, then why don't you just go be with that person then? Okay, so she made you upset. She hung out with another guy. She went to the store with a guy. I didn't even, he showed me where the store Doesn't was. Doesn't matter. That's even if I... you were cheating on him. Even if you were cheating on him mm -hmm. with five guys. And I know that's not you. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But even if you were, there's no excuse for a man to put his hands on a woman ever. Mm -hmm. Ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. 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 
And, I, you, and I, do, do you feel disrespected? Is that what it is? Honestly, I don't even remember. So she blacks out and you black out in a different kind of way, too. Mm -hmm. Right? We'll be right back. So I've been talking to 17-year-old Leanne and um, her boyfriend, Edwin, who's 18 years old. Edwin has been very abusive uh, to Leanne. And Leanne feels it's her fault in some way also because she hits him as well. And Edwin, I have to just keep telling you how amazing it is for you to be here. And I see you shaking your head, and I know you're like, oh, my God, why did I do this? Real talk. Why did I do this? <laughs> why did talk. I do this? But Real talk. it is so much easier to be a punk and to be at home and looking at Leanne and totally cursing her out on TV. That's the punk way. No, I don't and do that. I know, you're not a punk. No, I'm not. But we don't want you hitting on girls because that's also punk. That's, that's a punk, right? too. Right? That's punk. Yeah, what you just said, the curse word. That's punk, too. Joining us now in the audience is psychotherapist Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Hi, Robbie. Hello. Robbie, I, have, I, I, I'm, I love teen girls, can talk about this kind of stuff all day, mm -hmm. but I have no idea what to tell Jennifer, her mother, how to help her daughter get out of an abusive relationship. No idea. How, what do you say? Yeah. You know, it's a very tough situation for moms, uh, especially with teenage girls, because what we know about teenagers is they're not exactly listening to their mothers. Yeah, they're not. They see mothers as authority figures, uh, and that's quite natural. So mm -hmm. what really the experts recommend and what I would recommend is to somehow stay connected to your daughter and mm -hmm. do something with your daughter that's really a lot of fun for the two of you so that your daughter can have a place to go that's safe and separate from her relationship Got with it. Edwin. Oh, I see. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? So that, and I don't know what that would be, but you know, moms and, and daughters have things that they like to do together. Maybe it's related to being a grandmother and you being a mom. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's related to child rearing, but that you have your own special connection that you maintain on a regular basis. That makes sense because then she doesn't feel like she has nowhere to go right. but to the abuse. That's right. And also if moms can tell their daughters, you know what, I really think you deserve better. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're smart. You don't need to be in this kind of relationship. You may think it's love. But there's healthy love and there's unhealthy love. Yeah. So I think that that message can also be sent. Yeah, out just as be, well. it's yeah, because I know a lot of the kids, and even with you, Leanne, you say that. Oh, but I love him. Mm -hmm. And but I like that you said there's healthy love yeah. and unhealthy That's love. Right. Still love, it's just unhealthy. That's right. Now we can't forget Edwin. No, I'm not right because Edwin, Edwin wants help. You too. know, it's, it's very interesting when um, they've done studies on batterers. What they found is that people who men who batter look to their women to make them feel manly and mm. to feel good and to increase their self-esteem. And so they're very sensitized to anything that they feel is interfering with their sense of manliness. It Got could it. be a look. It could be an eyelash out of uh -huh. place. It could be something very slight. And in order to counterbalance that feeling of, of feeling vulnerable or not manly, then they act out on the rage and anger which increases their adrenaline and gets them to feel that they are strong, Got they it. are powerful. And Edwin also came from a situation where he saw abuse in his house, so he's modeling that. And, and people can go two ways. If they grow up with an abuser, they can either model that, because if they are the abuser, then they're not the victim. Mm -hmm. So that's how it goes in their head. Or they can go the opposite route and say, I'm not going to do anything I saw go on in my house. Does that make sense, Edwin? It makes plenty of sense. Makes plenty of sense? Like, it makes you feel like a man to, like, get that power back, to no, get strong? No, it doesn't make me feel like a man. But you just said man. it makes sense. I, what she said makes sense, but that, no. That's what she said. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not saying no. that I agree with that, that it, that makes me feel more manly for hitting a woman, because it's not. What does it make you feel? I feel bad when I do it. After. 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 But after. during. While I'm doing it. Yeah, now. no, after. She's yeah, during, of course, after you're a human being that has some heart. Yeah. That's why you're here today. You have some heart. But she's talking about before, you know, like no, the act. No, you don't, you don't feel no manly or hitting no female. Do you feel in control? Are you aware of what you're feeling? No. Okay, you're not aware no, of it. No, no, I mean, I'll, when I do it, I mean, I just feel like... I mean, it, it really don't feel like nothing. It just, I'm See, just I, anger. I don't, it's I, anger. It's out of anger. Okay. It so, ain't no manly feeling. 
Okay. It ain't me trying to prove that I'm a man or right. I got more control than that. The anger is almost your body's automatic way of trying to restore something. Mm -hmm. And maybe through treatment you'll understand because it might not make a lot of sense right now and you might not completely understand all understand the dynamics you're saying. Of, of what's going on when you are in that situation. It might take talking it through to get a better understanding of it. Because when you're in that moment, you can't be objective about yourself. It takes time and distance. So do you guys want to get some help? I do. Yeah. We'll be right back.